The Yamna culture was a network of Bronze Age societies in the Pontic Caspian steppe. They descended from earlier steppe cultures with minor agriculturalist admixture from the settled farmers of Ukraine. In terms of deeper admixture, they descended from the Eastern hunter gatherers, Caucasus hunter gatherers, Anatolian Neolithic farmers, and even Iranian Neolithic farmers, which may surprise some. The Samara and the Kalmykia Yamnans are very closely related to one another, whereas the Caucasus and Ukrainian Yamnans have additional farmer admixture. In this video we will focus on Kalmykia Yamnans, in particular the two highest quality samples from this cluster. The first sample, Rise 552, is male and carries Wileneage I2, which he likely got from farmer admixture. The second sample, Rise 547, is male and carries Wileneage R1B, which originates from the Eastern Hunter Gatherers. I ran their genomes through my trade predictor tool for DNA analysis and my Gvas health predictor, both of which can be purchased from link in the description. These samples are quite high quality, with RISE 552 being around 80% coverage and RISE 547 being around 65% coverage. These are the highest quality Yamne genomes we have. Let's start with RISE 552. He is predicted to have brown eyes, black hair, light brown skin tone, wavy hair texture and a Greek nose shape. He had intermediate rate of dopamine reuptake less D2 receptors, intermediate odds of autism, intermediate empathy levels, lower odds of obesity, and decisively blood type O. Regarding his biomarkers, he was predisposed to greatly reduced levels of vitamin D, average level of LDL cholesterol, and an average telomere length. He had high odds for coronary artery disease, heart attack, and schizophrenia. He had low odds for Alzheimer's, and average odds for every other condition. Now let's move on to RISE 547. He is also predicted to have brown eyes, black hair, olive to light brown skin, wavy hair and a Greek nose shape. He was a warrior, had intermediate D2 receptor density, lower levels of empathy, lower odds of epithelial cancers, intermediate odds of obesity and either blood type B or AB. He likely had slightly higher levels of vitamin D, lower levels of bad LDL cholesterol and slightly shorter telomere lengths. He had high odds for heart attack, high odds of skin cancer, but he also had low odds of anxiety disorder and low odds of autism, having average odds for all other conditions. Check out the description of this video for useful links to Andre DNA services and products. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.